Uh, hello everyone, my name is uh, Deirdre McNamara and I'm a gastroenterologist here at the hospital and it's my great pleasure uh, to introduce you to some of the innovative, innovation projects we've been running over the last wee while uh, in, the, in the department. I'm going to briefly speak to you about a cloud-based solution for capsule endoscopy that's going to enable us to set up a capsule network uh, throughout our group and maybe later on around the country. And then my colleague Emmanuel from the GI Lab is going to talk to you briefly about the virtual capsule service and uh, Fintan, another gastroenterologist who works with us, is going to talk to you about the role of artificial intelligence uh, in gastroenterology. So there's obviously gastroenterology is very procedure based so we're quite used uh, to innovating, bringing new technologies, new pieces of equipment uh, into our practice. Um, and I suppose one of the biggest revolutions has been capsule endoscopy, a means of examining the small bowel and colon uh, without needing an endoscope but using a capsule that travels through your system naturally and then takes videos which we can watch on the screen. At the moment though the rollout across the country is held back by the fact that there is not enough experienced capsule readers and what we need to be able to do is to do the capsules near the patient whatever hospital they're based in or whatever community practice they attend and for those videos to be available for expert readers like me and my team uh, so that we can get the reports back to them in a timely fashion rather than all waiting to come to this hospital to have the procedure. And we've partnered with uh, Medtronic, who have developed uh, the colon capsule, and with our IT department here to trial an innovative cloud-based storage solution for videos. Uh, we're one of only two centres in Europe that are trialling this technology and the idea is that it will safely uh, and securely enable us to read videos from around the country. So we're very excited about this, uh, particularly because it, would put, it will put Tala at the centre of this hub and spoke model for capsule endoscopy. So now I'd like to introduce you to my colleague Emmanuel who's going to talk to you about innovations in breath testing. My name is Emmanuel. I work in the GA lab as a medical lab aide. Um, the standard breath test um, was temporarily put on hold on March 2020 due to COVID and we came up with a way to do a virtual breath test for this which we call virtual um, breath test at home. Um, now this received highly positive feedbacks from patients during its trial stage and now um, we are currently looking to expand the service by doing a community virtual breath test which will um, do the breath test through GP services. Hi, my name is Fintan O'Hara. I'm a clinical lecturer and a researcher in the gastroenterology department in Tala. Uh, currently I'm involved in an innovation project to introduce the OMOM HD capsule system into the lab. It is the latest technology in uh, capsule endoscopy which provides higher resolution imaging, a wider field of view and longer battery life which will hopefully lead to improved diagnostic imaging uh, for patients undergoing this test. Uh, probably the most exciting and innovative part of this project is the fact that it is introducing artificial intelligence and machine learning into the GI laboratory. Uh, the artificial intelligence system uh, as, as part of this project will hopefully uh, reduce uh, reading time allowing us to increase uh, capsule throughput through the lab. Uh, it does this by reducing, uh, r removing redundant imaging from the studies and by identifying abnormal mucosal imaging uh, and picking them out for us to review. Um, this has been shown to reduce reading times from 30 to 40 minutes down to 15 minutes per study. So it has a potential to be a massive uh, uh, improvement in uh, throughput through the laboratory. So this, this uh, new technology is, uh, is obviously uh, just on the market and uh, there's very limited actually published data on this so we're very happy to be involved in a, in a research study to uh, validate how the artificial intelligence system works in a real world setting.